Junior in Zurich, Switzerland. He writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, when it comes to analog signals and their connection plugs, everything is very simple. That's right. There is XLR and RCA, and that's it. But when it comes to digital signals, things get more complicated. Indeed they do. Let's take the example of a DAC. Some manufacturers use the interface I2S, such as PS Audio. I2S is transmitted via HDMI or via Ethernet RJ45. AccuPhase has an Ethernet RJ45 connection between the SACD transport and the DACs called HS Link. Esoteric has an HDMI connection between the DAC and the transport called ES Link. And here is my question. Are all of these interfaces compatible with each other and just have different names? And if they are not compatible with each other, why the hell not? <laughs> Is it to sell the DAC together with the transport or do they all have other characteristics? Well, the quick answer is no, they are not compatible with each other. And yes, digital audio has so many ways of getting the digits in and out. Consider that we stream music out of cloud servers, wherever these clouds are, right? Giant servers in the sky. We play it from our hard drive. We play it from USB sticks. We spin little optical disks. I mean, there are every manner of storage, transmission, and distribution of digital audio compared to the simple analog days. It is very different. And most of them are not compatible. So you had mentioned I2S, which we certainly didn't invent, but we certainly standardized and popularized within the industry. So I2S is the native digital format within a CD player and it has the master clock, the bit clock, and the data. Okay, they're all separated. And that's how a transport, the spinning disk, communicates with the internal DAC of a CD player. If you want to get that out of the CD player, it is then all these lines are multiplexed down into a single RCA connector. That's called SPDIF, the Sony Philips Digital Interface. And then once it gets into your DAC, it has to be re- or demultiplexed and put back out. And there's always, when you go from here, squeeze it down, bring it back up, there's always going to be less than perfect conditions, I think would be a kind way to put it. So it's always better to leave it in its native format, which is what we do, and we publish the spec so that any manufacturer can use our spec. To date, not one manufacturer has perfectly copied the specs that we published. <laughs> Our chief engineer, Bob Stather, who came up with the protocol, took the time to write it, publish it, give it to any manufacturer that wants, is always flummoxed. Like, why couldn't they just follow that and then we'd have a standard? So many of them are compatible. The matrix is compatible. Inuos is compatible. They didn't do it exactly the same way, but mm, close enough that it works. RJ45, that's uh, another tricky technical name for the Ethernet connection. And that's not I2S. Not to my knowledge, um, I suppose. Oh, you know what? I take that back. It certainly could be because there are enough connectors uh, or, or conductors within an RJ45 to carry that. Yeah, so that, that could be. And you'd have to have some way to, to get that in and out of a device that didn't have an RJ45. That's right. Um, Doug Goldberg, originally an engineer at Northrop Grumman, used that RJ45 uh, in the audio alchemy products. And those used that. So uh, I stand corrected. But normally, the RJ45 is a network device where everything is very different than I2S. So why is it there are no standards? Uh, we tried our best to make I2S a standard and it caught on with a few people. But, you know, 
I'd say the only standard out there is SPDIF, the, the uh, Sony Philips digital interface. And that's the closest you're going to get to a standard. Maybe USB. USB definitely has standards and they have to go to those standards. So meh, maybe between those two, those would be the closest you're going to get to a standard. Otherwise, it's a free for all. So <laughs> sorry about that. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.